Well, I'd like to give you a tour of XVI32. This is a great hex editor and you can use it for working with MIDI files and you can use it for all sorts of other things as well. Here's a pretty decent sized MIDI file and uh, typically you can slide that little central bar back and forth as needed. Um, not sure why it's not working out at the moment, but uh, you'll see that the offset shows up on the far left. Here we see the hexadecimal representation in the center panel and then we see its ASCII interpretation on the other side. And again for MIDI files it, there's not very much of the file where the ASCII interpretation is helpful but there's one. We can see the MTHD which is our header ID or header chunk ID. Uh, what I'm illustrating here is that uh, it is an editor so you can change values and you can change them either on the um, hex panel in the middle or you can do it in the ASCII panel off to the side. You could do things like inserting text strings or perhaps arbitrary arrays or numerical values specified as uh, hexadecimal. And uh, clearly at the moment that I'm doing this, this uh, MIDI file is getting damaged, so I won't be saving this at all. Now, here's uh, another thing that's nice about this editor. We know that the thing that follows the track ID is something that tells us the total number of bytes in the track. If we look at the data inspector, what I'm doing is ensuring that the options are set for Big Endian or Motorola format. Now, if I select that beginning byte of that value and look at the data decoder, it shows me that those four bytes can be interpreted as a uh, value of 1043. So that tells us the total number of bytes after that length must be 1043. We can also do um, navigation within the file by searching for things. So I'm looking for uh, the track ID, that's that MTRK string, MTRK string. You can also search for uh, hexadecimal strings that, that you might know of. So for example, the end of track meta event is always FF2F0. It's actually, it says it's at the end of the file, that's why the string wasn't found. If I find again going in the upwards direction, we see in the center it found it. There's another one, FF2F0, 0. Hey, this works pretty good. So I really recommend this editor, it's great.